Hey, good morning again. It's Mary, and um, I hope you're having a great day so far. It's later on in the morning for me. I actually woke up this morning. It was pouring rain and dark, so I woke up, and then I stayed in bed. <laughs> I have a great book that I'm reading, and so I just propped up the pillows, and the dogs were all around me, and I just chose to stay there and read. And I normally go to the gym on the weekends, and this morning I just thought, I just didn't want to, and, and I was so involved with this book that I wanted to just stay there, so I chose to do that. And, you know, sometimes we make those choices to do things out of our routine, and we can beat ourselves up about it. We can feel guilty, I should have gone to the gym, this wasn't, you know, I'm being too lazy, or whatever the things are that go around in our mind. And yet, I'm choosing not to do that. I'm reframing my brain to respect what it is that I enjoy and what I like to do. And this morning it was, enjoy the solitude of this rainy, dark morning where everybody was just feeling still sleepy, even after waking up. My husband went to the gym, and I chose to stay and not feel guilty about it. I felt great, and I'm still glad that I did, because it was a really awesome morning for me to not have any obligations, um, not have to uh, think that I had to get up at any certain time. I mean, I could have just stayed there till whenever I wanted to, so it was great. And so it was. it's nice when you respect the, your feelings that you have. And when you choose to do certain things, you don't, you don't um, go back on that. If you're going to choose to do something, then do it and be glad you did it and forget about it. Forget about any other thing that you could have done. That was what you chose to do. So that's what I did. And it was awesome. And I hope you can do the same. I hope you can learn to um, experience those things, do those things that you really want to do, that are in your heart to do and that make you feel better. So, and then also while I was reading this book, it's a heavy read. It is, um, in matter of fact, it is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And this book is the kind of stuff that I love. It just, it, it, it's a quantum physics thing and it explains the scientific reality of the law of attraction and it, um, on a cellular level and... Wow just why that is true and why our thoughts are so powerful and just all this stuff that if I could literally eat this book and gain the knowledge, I would eat it. I would figure out a way because I love this stuff. But it is a hard read. It's um, something that you just can't skim through like a novel and, 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 you know, can't wait to turn that page because what's, you know, who's going to kill who or whatever. This is something that when you read a paragraph, you have to really think about what they're saying and and you have to if it's something you don't understand then you have to stop and take the time to try to grasp what it is that they're actually saying or this author is saying so um that was the case for me but this is the kind of stuff i love to read and so i have a best friend this uh, oil blend that i love and it is called in tune and it is doTERRA's blend for focus a lot of kids with ADHD use this in school. They do really well with it, with um, concentrating and uh, doing better on tests and just being able to sit still and, and learn. So I keep this by my computer. So whenever I'm doing anything like that that I have to really focus on, it's there. I usually put it, I like the smell. It's a very strong smell. It has Hawaiian sandalwood in it. It's very grounding, very earthy. And um, so I don't mind putting it like on my neck, um, but like kids like to put it on the bottom of their feet because they don't really want to smell it. But however, it is awesome. And so um, when I'm reading a book like this, I will use this also because it just helps to absorb the information and retain it as well. And so that is my best friend, my oil today. <laughs> And I hope that whatever decisions, decisions that you're making today, um, you can live with, that you're kind to yourself, that whatever you choose to do, you just do. And you don't worry about the, the things that, the other choices you could have made. You know, live with your choices, love yourself, respect yourself, enjoy the things you choose to do. Um, I didn't go to the gym this morning, but guess what? I feel like going now. So I am getting ready to go and it's going to be awesome. 
I hope. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm getting it done after all. And, um, and I'll probably spend the afternoon reading again. So it's just one of those cool days of relaxation. And here's, here's somebody relaxing too. You relaxing, Barney Jojo? Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's one of those days. Yeah. So we hope that you have a wonderful day yourself, that you love yourself, and then remember, whatever you're thinking, think the better thought. Regardless what it is, you can think a better thought. And when you're doing, do the thing that makes you feel right in your heart. Have a great day.